Olha pra câmera, respira e vai. I can look at the camera. Wait, I'm gonna do it. Hello, I'm Beatriz. I have a degree in history from the Federal University of Acre. I'm also part of the Center of Afro-Brazilian and Indigenous Studies, the NEAB UFAC. And today we are getting to know one of our pearls who was born at the beginning of the Brazilian Republic. She faced many prejudices in our society, such as racism and patriarchy, but never gave up on fighting for what she believed. One of her fights was for her rights as a woman, so she could study medicine. This because the Brazilian patriarchal structure prevented women and men from having the same rights, such as studying. Just like in the past, women continue suffering through several types of violence and injustice like the feminist movements denounced. Today's Pearl was a historical character who was born as the Brazilian Republic started, daughter of an African descendant father who worked garden wires for a telegraph company and a mother who hadn't had access to study but who fiercely defended the importance of education so her children could trail a new path. She was known popularly as Maria Aragão. Born in February 10th of 1910, she was the third child of seven siblings. She came from an economically vulnerable origin and went through a lot of prejudice, such as conservatism, sexism, and racism. Granting her mother's wish, she graduated as a teacher, but her real desire was to be a doctor. So Maria Aragão persevered and got a medicine degree. She stood out as a fear fighter for women's rights, also taking part in the movements against military dictatorship. Let's see how that happened. Even during her time studying medicine, she fought for social and equality causes. Still as a student, she lived in an inn where she met some communist activists who fought against the military dictatorship and needed medical aid. A Pearl Maria Aragão managed to build a network of medical attendants to help the activists, making it easier for them so they didn't have to pay for exams, appointments or meds. When she became a doctor, she advised women that they should come first and that they had full ownership and right to their own body. Being a single mom, she suffered with sexism from the society and was even persecuted by the Catholic Church. Again. <laughs> ai, ai. Start again, buddy. Delete that one. Another time, she expressed desire to practice medicine in the state of Acre to help even more the less favorable population, and that almost happened, but it was at that moment that she was hooked by the Carlos Prestes speech. She ended up staying in the Rio de Janeiro, where years later she was sent to the state of Maranhão to organize the Brazilian Communist Party. She was also the editor for the Tribuna do Povo newspaper, where she was able to fight against the military dictatorship and denounce police brutality. She gathered information denouncing mostly from land disputes that happened in the countryside. Maria faced political or oligarchies through her time acting in the newspaper. Without ever stopping fighting for health and educational social causes, Maria Aragão died at the age of 81 on July 23rd of 1991, São Luís do Maranhão, leaving behind a great legacy of fight, resilience and persistence. As we saw, Maria Aragão was a woman of great importance in political and social causes, a black woman who graduated only a few years after the end of slavery, who fought avidly against the military dictatorship and also for women's rights to be perceived as something more than men's property, something that happens in you this day. That's why Maria José Camargo Aragão deserves to be remembered as a pearl who, in spite of all the violence black women face, ferociously resisted the oppression from the racist and patriarchal capitalism. 
So, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel, share, and leave a thumbs up because we have more videos about the black pearls. And it's black pearls. <laughs> Histórias que o tempo escondeu